Good morning everybody, it's Valerie Ling, clinical psychologist here. How are you going? I wonder if anybody is actually around at this time of the morning to hop on live. This is my Friday morning start. I start early. I love it. I just love the easy drive into the practice when it's really, really early. Um, good morning. Hi, thanks for joining me. Look, I wanted to. Good morning, Jen. So lovely to see you. Oh, you're a morning person, aren't you? Oh, gosh, it's freezing in here. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you today about resting deeply, resting intentionally. This week, I've actually had a, an experience of um, needing to really come to a full stop rest. Last week was um, very, very busy and physically I just felt like my body was starting to say to me, stop, give us a break right now. And so what I actually did was I organized um, for some help with the cleaning, right? So it's kind of just went through and thought, what's the one thing I could do that would make my the rest of the week um, sort of more resourced and more manageable for us? And it was the cleaner. And I don't know about you, but um, when I started to think about the cleaner coming to my house, all kinds of things popped into my head. And I actually uh, went through a, a, a process of thinking, oh my goodness, what's she going to think of me if I'm just going to be sitting up with my feet up today and, and she's helping me with the cleaning? Should I do some token dishwashing <laughs> to show her that I'm not actually lazy? My goodness, the feelings of guilt and, and judgment about being lazy because I needed to rest officially, officially hit burnout. I am not disappointed, Jen. I'm absolutely not disappointed. I just think the fact that we can recognize it, Jen, is part of the process of actually um, allowing for ourselves to feel the burn. I've been talking about this lately. Feel the burn and then problem solve it, Jen. Um, you'll be right. We can work it out. Send me a message. <laughs> and so um, I, I, got, I got the cleaner in because I was actually with my family the night before and I wanted to explain to them why I was quite comatose. This is very unnatural for me to be at home. Um, my children tell me that if I'm not kind of bouncing around, uh, you know the guinea pigs when they bounce and jump off their cages? Have you ever seen that? If I'm not doing that, then um, they worry. And I wanted to just explain to them the night before, I said, you know when we're driving and the petrol tank kind of goes to an orange light? And then you know when the petrol tank light goes blinking red? Okay, that's where I'm at. <laughs> I recognize that that's where I was at. And um, the guilt and the judgment, self-judgment that I was putting um, on getting this cleaner in. However, I pushed through, sat with those feelings of discomfort, um, acknowledged and accepted, but then just let them go and let that three hours for someone to come in and help me while I literally sat on the couch, curled up, um, just enjoying some sound. I just wanted to actually have some sound and I was um, listening to some music and things on my on, and, and just rested. And the next day I was fully recharged and I reflected on this and I thought, you know, it's actually really important that when we rest, uh, we rest intentionally and we rest mindfully. Sometimes I think we get tempted to multitask. We think, oh, well, this is an opportunity. I am resting, I'm sitting, but I'll just tamper with that or I'll just fix this or oh, I'll just run through my to-do list. This is a great thing to rest and do a to-do list. But, you know, you need, we need to actually rest intentionally. And the, the, the metaphor that came to my mind was, um, you know how when you plug in a mobile phone and um, we just charge it for little bits at a time, little bits at a time, and the mobile phone battery actually gets um, wrecked as a result because it never has this full recharge, like empty the battery, recharge fully. There's no science to this, but I have a feeling that's the same thing with us. And I wonder if that's got to do with one one thing that it could do is that our conditioning, that when we don't fully rest mindfully and intentionally, it's almost like our body and mind don't really believe that we're resting. And so even though we come to a stop or we're not working, our body and our mind don't believe that we're resting. They're still clocked on. And so this wear and tear still continues. So my encouragement is that every now and again, um, whether it's once a week, once a quarter, once a month, what do you need Come to a full, intentional, mindful rest, both physically and mentally, right? 
um, I can tell you from experience, having done that this week, the next day um, I felt fully recharged and had a and, and felt like I was my mind was able to, you know, take on some more material for the week. So Jen saying you love that analogy of the mobile phone battery makes so much sense, Jen. I'm glad. Why don't you give it a go and love to hear from you um, what that felt like for you to come to a mindful and intentional rest this week. See you later, Jen. Gotta go.